Hello and welcome to another edition of the Monday Minute from the Independent Dealer Podcast. Today we're going to talk about something that's really hard for all of us to wrap our head around. And it's because most of us grew up doing every job in the dealership, so we feel like we can do a job better than anyone. And this isn't just for car dealers, it's for everybody. If you started the company, you think you know it all. Well, hopefully you've hired some people and they know how to do a job better than you. So today it's delegation. So delegation is pretty simple. It's a pretty simple concept and it's transferring responsibility for a specific task from one person to another. And what's weird about this, and, and it's not weird, but it's interesting is the only way to scale your business is to delegate. So if you right now are buying the car, reconditioning the car, and selling the car, you're doing everything. And you gotta ask yourself, how many of those can I do a month? And I bet you can't do any more than 15. So you gotta figure out, do I get a buyer? Do I get a seller? Do I get a recon person? Those are things you gotta decide. So, and, and in time, you'll need everything. I can tell you that. So anyway, six key ways to make delegation work. Well, for one, you gotta hire somebody. So uh, if you're a one-man operation or a two-man operation, you will start delegating. You need to hire some more people because you gotta get it delegated and you gotta get it working. Number one, you gotta know what to delegate. So most car dealers love to buy cars. Well, if you're in the buy here, pay here space and you love to buy cars, that's great. But you may not be the best collector. So you might need to hire a collector if you're in the buy here, pay here world. If you're in the retail world, you, you love to buy cars, right? Well, get somebody to recon it, get somebody to sell it. So that's how you delegate. Items, you need to delegate items that you inspect. So let's say you did hire a buyer. Inspect what they're buying, what they're paying for, help them to start with. Um, and also you need to delegate items that create teachable moments. And what that means is um, people, are going to, people you delegate to are going to mess up. So you've got to be able to teach them when you delegate to them. And make sure you're delegating the right items to do that. Number two, play to your employees' strengths. Um, you may think you're well-rounded, but I promise you you're not. You have a really good strength in one thing and you're not so good at others. And your employees are the same way. Make sure you study your employees and figure out the best thing they know how to do, the best thing they're equipped for. Number three, define the outcome you desire for the task when you delegate. If you don't, your employee may just be shooting in the wind, right? So if you hired a buyer and you're delegating your buying to that and you want to sell 25 cars a month, we need to make sure your person is buying 25 cars a month and that recon costs only a certain amount. If you delegate sales to someone, you got to say, hey, I expect you to sell 15 cars a month. If you delegate collections, you've got to have those as well. If you delegate how quickly you want your books closed to your bookkeeper, you got to delegate that. You got to make sure the outcome is there. Four, design a pyramid of communication. Now we're going to do a video later on about pyramid of communication, but what that means is you don't, you want to make sure that you're not micromanaging everybody around you. If you delegate management to the person under you, they need to make sure they're managing everybody and that pyramid forms under them. So we'll talk about that later because this is a very interesting concept, something I have a hard time with as well. Be patient. Y'all, people will fail. The people you delegate to will fail. They won't get it right every time. You don't either. But the only way to grow, the only way to keep going is to be patient. And the last thing, don't give up. Delegate, inspect, right? Teach, make sure you're playing to the strengths. Make sure you've defined the outcome. And if you do that and you don't give up and you keep training, you're gonna get this right. Thanks for watching today and look forward to seeing you soon.